Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little tackle warehouse unboxing. Uh, this is kind of my cr Christmas gift from my wife, some of it. Uh, we haven't received it all yet, but anyways. Uh, I just want to say thank y'all for uh, liking and subscribing. Uh, channel's growing really good really excited about it and uh just want to say thanks to y'all and also don't forget we're doing a giveaway uh the six cents only giveaway that's uh about i think two videos back so make sure you get in on that you don't want to miss that that's a good giveaway for a lot of uh six cents baits uh i will be doing the drawing not this week, but next week. So, let's see. Get on my shop portal's calendar. It'll be probably the 8th or the 9th of the new year. So, that'll be the first giveaway of the new year. Alright, so, let's, uh, as y'all can see, this is a big old box. So, we're going to dive into this. See what all we get. Uh, I'm going to have to set the box down on the floor. And I'm just going to kind of grab baits as we go. Get all the paper out of the way. This is... Uh, my receipt. Uh, a little sticker thing. Uh, so, first out of the box, we have the Strike King KVD 2.5. Uh, this is the hard core, and this is in a red sexy shed. Uh, this, uh, dives, let's see, dives three to five feet, uh, it don't say how much it weighs, but anyways, so, yeah, so, Strike King, KBD, 2.5, this is the hard core, and that color is a red 60 shed. And this right here is going to be a long video, just so y'all know. So you might want to grab some popcorn. And I'm going to try to get in here without getting the hook. So, there we go. This is a color I haven't tried out yet, but I wanted to, and y'all can see it's got those big, big old hooks on it, big bright red eyes. Uh, got that real flash of silver. Uh, not sure, but I don't know. black nickel hooks. Uh, I wasn't sure. I was trying to see what size those are. <clears throat> but I want to say those are number fours or number six. So, anyways, there's that. Uh, what I do with that? I'll stick that back in there. I just wanted to open that up and show that to y'all. So, like I said, this is going to be a long video. So, y'all might want to get some popcorn. Next up, we have a Bill Lewis MR6, dives six feet, two six feet. It's a uh, two and a quarter inch long, and it weighs half an ounce. Uh, I have one or two more of these, and I really like them. And I think the other one I had was called uh, Silverado, I believe. It was a real neat color. 
This has got the Mustad triple grip hooks on it. And uh, so anyways, I seen this on there and my wife said, go ahead and get it, add it to the collection. So anyways, y'all can see that real nice bait. It's got the weird, weird looking body to it, but all in all, great looking bait. Catches a lot of fish. I, like I said, I like the the Silverado. The Silverado done me some good. It's the, it's the same bait, except it's silver. So, I wanted another one, so we got another one. All right, so this is one I've really been wanting. This right here is the 13 Fishing Scamp. Scamp 60. Uh, it's 2.38 inches long. Weighs half an ounce. It's got a number three split ring, number four hooks, floating. And this is our Fire Tiger version. And this don't do it any justice, but uh, it's got the KVD triple grips hooks on it. And I'm going to try to get this out of here for y'all, but this is, uh, it's got that, uh, what do you call that? That circuit board, circuit board uh, lip on it. But 13 Fishing, a lot of their stuff has become one of my favorite go-to baits. And I didn't have the scamp, so I wanted it. And y'all can see that nice fire tiger color. It's got a little bit of purple. Them red eyes, I mean, them eyes are something else. And that bill has the depth on it. And uh, I don't think any fish is going to have a problem hearing that. So anyway, I had to have that. I had to, I hadn't gotten any of these in a box, so I had to add that to my collection of crankbaits. And like I said, that's the Fire Tiger, and that's the 13 fish, and it's called the Scamp. All right, so next up, okay, so this is a company that I've heard a little bit, a little bit about, but I didn't know much about them. And since I do a lot of pond fishing, uh, I wanted to give them a shot. They make a lot of uh, little crankbaits. And this this right here is called the Crank Mini CM6, CM36. And it's made by Team Arc. And, uh, this is a mystic sexy shed and dive three to six feet. And I'm going to get this out because I ain't ever had one, but I've heard a little bit about them. And uh, so I wanted to give them a shot because I like these little, little video crankbaits. But y'all can see how little this little guy is. It's got some awesome color to it. It's silent. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, this is a little company that I've heard some good things about. I didn't, I ain't ever got them in a box or anything. And like I said, it's called Team Arc. And this is the CM36. Uh, the Mystic Sexy Shad. So, anyways, I got that. And they actually had them on sale for $4.99. I'm trying to go through all the hard baits first. So, next up, we got another 
13 fishing scamp and uh, everything the same except for the color this right here is called the fancy shed I'm gonna get it out that way y'all can see the color on it and once again y'all hear that rattle but here's the sexy shed real nice color that black blue silver and my eyes and like I said they got those over rings on them those over split rings which help out a lot uh, and like I said that was the fancy shed not the sexy shed It's got uh, HD holographic eyes, airflow carbon bill, increases strength and sensitivity, tampered tail improves hookup ratio. So, like I said, it's called the circuit bill. It's real, real paper thin. Next up, we have a dual hardcore shad crank one plus one uh die it's a uh, 2.58 inches long and one fourth of an ounce and the color of this one is holographic hot tiger and as y'all know uh dual hardcore they have that weight transfer system in them that's why a lot of people use them because you can take this bait and launch it a mile. Uh, see if I can get in here. Of course, it has staples holding it down. But anyway, we've had a couple of these in the boxes before. I don't know if it's been these exact ones, but we've gotten a dual hardcore baits before. And so, anyways, I wanted some more, so I got some. See if I can get this out of here. All right. So this right here is a real neat color. And y'all look at this little bill. It's kind of weird. It's kind of. Let's see if I can just do that. One. There we go. See how it's kind of long and rounded. I would imagine that's going to push a lot of water. But, anyways, uh, I don't know if it says the depth of this. Let me get this back in there. Uh, Hmm. Well, everything's in uh, Japanese, so I don't think I'm going to be able to tell you the depth, but I believe if I read online right that uh, I think this only goes to like four to five feet uh, casting distance depth. Yeah, this only goes to three feet deep. It's got number six hooks, but y'all know anything about dual hardcore, they're a good bait company. Next up, we got another Team Arc CM36 mini crankbait, and these are floating, by the way. And I got this one in a Chartreuse black back. Just in case y'all want to know, you know, what the package or anything looks like. But there's that Chartreuse black back. It's got a kind of weird it's, it's got the magnetic weight transfer system so it's going to help you cast them out and I just figured this would, these will work really good in some of the ponds I fish I've always had luck on these little video crankbaits so it's got those bright red eyes and that bright chartreuse with that black back 
and uh, a little bitty old bill. And like I said, this only goes down to like three to six feet, so perfect depth. And right now is actually a good time of the year to be throwing these because the bait fish are small, so during the springtime will be good too. All right, so next up we got another scamp, 13 fishing. And this one, its color is the Stunner. I thought this was a really nice looking bait. I've seen these out for a while and I had to get some. I ain't had a chance to get any, but, but now I do. So I have plenty to try this year, but y'all can see that sparkle, bright blue, black eyes, white underbelly. I can just see these bass are gonna go crazy over this. And like I said, I'm going to show you all that little board. Y'all can see how paper thin that is. Paper thin. And like I said, once again, I got the depth of the, on the bill and everything. So that helps. I wish all crankbaits would go to that. It just makes it more convenient. That way you ain't looking around in your tackle box wondering what depth you're throwing it at. Next up, we got another Strike King KVD 2.5 dive three to five feet. Uh, so, let's see. This is the Chrome Sexy Shed. Love that color. They had a bunch of different kinds of sexy, sexy shads on there to choose from, that's for sure. So this was the chrome. And like I said, I went with that red sexy shad. Uh, it just really surprised me with all the different sexy shad colors I had. But these right here, these are some actually pretty decent sized crankbaits but they work. All right, get back in there. All right, go back in there. <laughs> uh, next up, we got another Team Arch CM36, and this one is the Chargers Blue, which is an all-time favorite. Usually you either get the powder blue, the chartreuse blue, but this reminded me a lot of the, the powder blue. Nice looking, oops, nice looking low crankbait. But y'all can see how small that is. I mean, <laughs> it's small, but they work. I don't know if this one works, but it's about the size of a mini banger, maybe a little bit smaller than the Guggen mini banger. So for y'all that like little crankbaits. Oh, okay, so here, here is one I've been really wanting. Been waiting on. I'm glad I get to show y'all this. I was wondering why this was in here. I thought maybe I got a duplicate or something. Uh, so this right here is the 13 Fishing Jabber Jaw. This is in the old Greg color. And if y'all don't know what the jabber jaw is and what the big fuss is about, uh, it's the same version as uh, Six Sense Axis, 
except this one was made a little bit different. So here's the color of it. And as y'all can see, this lip moves back and forth like a vibrating jig. It's supposed to be, it's a hybrid between a crankbait and a chatterbait. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, this thing moves up and down side to side. Uh, I can't wait to try this out. I mean, it's an expensive little bait, but they say it ain't work, so we'll see. Uh, it's got the little clip on, clip on tie. Got the little clip on, clip, the quick snap clip for the crankbait. Uh, so yeah. Uh, like I said, I've been dying to try one of these out. Uh, they dive real shallow. You can see the color on that thing bad to the bone. Oh, Greg. And uh, what is the depth of this? Really a shallow diving crankbait. But uh, anyways, I've been dying to get my hands on that, and I finally did. Can't wait to try it out. Mm. 13 fishing. Get you every time. One thing I like, man, the 13 fishing packaging is real good too. Uh, got number four hooks on it. Oh, okay, so it only goes to four feet deep. Uh, 9 16th of an ounce ultra high definition paint job the paint job on this thing is crazy bmc premium hybrid black nickel treble hooks patent pending metal cheek provides enhanced clicking noise jabber jaw bill provides erratic swim action hd holographic eyes if y'all have not seen the video on the jabber jaw look it up and watch it that thing is crazy J jacob wheeler everybody knows who jacob wheeler is he swears by them so next up we have another dual hardcore shad crank one plus one uh let's see if we can get on here this one dived three to three feet the color of this oh okay so the color is shad crank okay i got you and like i said we got some of these in one of our boxes i can't remember which one it was it wasn't this bait for short per se but uh it was some other kind of dual hardcore bait and uh, so anyways i liked it so I wanted some more of them. I like his paint job on this one. It's holographic. You can see through it, translucent. And like I said, it's got that weird looking little bill on there, which I would imagine is going to push all kinds of water. And uh, looks real nice. It's got that dual transfer system in it, a magnetic transfer system. So gonna help sling it out there get in there all right guys I think that is all the hard baits nope I got one more no nope, we got a couple more I was lying all right so this is the six cents hyper swim crank five eighths of an ounce dive zero to one feet and this is in a 4K shed. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these. A lot of people got these in their bags, but I didn't. So I went out and got one. 
Y'all don't know, Six Sense Hard Baits. Check them out. They make some awesome hard baits. But as y'all can see, this is a little glide bait. It's jointed, so it's made to pivot back and forth. I got it in that 4K shad, which is really awesome. You can see that little paper thin circuit bill. They use really big nickel hooks. Got that feathered feathered tail. So just like I said, this is a little weight bait, glide bait, however you want to say it. Swims right below the surface, right on the surface. When them bass are hitting the top of the water, you can usually catch them on something like this. So anyways. That's that. And this is the D1 model. Yeah, if you don't know who Six Sense is, check them out. Next up, we got the KVD. Okay, so those are the 2.5s. This is the 1.5. This is more of a, like a regular size crankbait. And this one's called Wicked, Wicked Fire Tiger. And this thing's got a crazy paint job on it. Check that out. I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> but it's wicked looking. I figured that dark color, muddy water, probably work real good. Got that little flash of green. So dark colors seem to work pretty well around here along with natural colors. So don't really do real good on bright colors but sometimes you do sometimes you don't all right so that was the hard baits next up we have some uh 13 fishing vertigo minnows and this is in the og sour Neat, neat paint job, or color, I should say. I shouldn't say paint job, but it's infused with the donkey sauce. And this almost reminds me of the My Name is Jeff. But if you can see, it's real flat on one side, so, and real, like, bubbly on the other side. It's bridged. Uh, got that little paddle tail right here. So this right here is going to make a real good finesse style bait, which is what I'm going to be using it for. Uh, or even on a Ned rig, really, you could use that. But small profile vertigo minnow. Uh, like I said, I've been really surprised with 13 fishing stuff I got hooked on to them whenever uh, I started using that my name is Jeff bait and uh, ninja crawl which y'all can see them back there on the wall I've got a bunch of 13 fishing I like it I like how they package your stuff they, they make sure they do real good on it uh, next up is a 13 fishing ninja worm and this one the color is called skittle farts <laughs> and the length is 5.5 inches long and 3 eighths of an ounce and man these things look like they're going to be good I can tell why they call it skittle forts. But look at that color. I mean, that color is something else. Probably don't even do it justice, but y'all can see this little tail down here. This tail has like the design of the ninja crawl pinchers. And, uh, 
it's uh, the body's kind of separated. I don't know if maybe that'll help in here or not, but y'all can see how it's just kind of beat up. It's got the same thing as the the like claws on a crawfish would have, which is going to help with a lot of action. And then the worms kind of split right here, and then it gets real thick. So, like I said, we're going to try these out in the tank. We'll do a tank review on these. So there'll be a lot of tank reviews coming up, because I'm sure y'all are going to be wanting to see some of this stuff in the tank. And uh, so anyways, like I said, that's the ninja worm. And that was the skittle forks. Next up, we have 13 fishing wobble crawl, rabbit ear tails, OG sour. Like I said, watermelon red and stuff seems to work good here. So I got this color. Plus it looks really short. And this is their version of a crawl. And this thing is kind of hollow in the middle. But. Anyways. Y'all can see it's flat on the bottom. Those little things have got little. All their baits of this series are made the same as far as the appendages go. And at the end you can see. It's triangular instead of just flat, which helps out on the action. And uh, so, yeah. And like I said, they put everything in a clamshell, which helps out a lot. And even their clamshells have got like little indentions that press everything down to make sure it stays in place. And boy, you can smell that donkey sauce. Mm. They got weird names for everything on these 13 fishing items. And everything's infused with donkey sauce. <laughs> Max buoyancy. So that helps. Next up, we got 13 fishing. This is the invader. The color of this is the witcher, witch's brew. Five sixteenths of an ounce, four, four, four and a quarter inch long. And this is a neat looking little low profile bait too. For those of y'all who've never checked out any of 13 fishing stuff go check it out. You won't be disappointed. 13 fishing stuff really works. <laughs> and on all their baits, it seems like they got like little air pockets or something built into their baits. Kind of hard to explain. And I think that's what helps them float so good. And put up a lot of action. Like I said, their packages are big and bulky, but they, they make sure they take care of all their stuff. Next up, we have 13 fishing. This is the joystick. This is in the color of Royal Irishman. The length is 16 inches or six inches and weighs three eighths of an ounce. I love the Royal Irishman color. It's got like that real shad color to it. I've got some uh, crawfish that are in that color. It's just a real neat, a real neat color. Let me push these, some of these back. Some of them fell down. But anyways, so it's almost like a real glittery smoking shad color. Then you can see that little rabbit, little tail. I think going to put off a lot of action. This is one of the ones I'm really excited about trying. From as far as, you know, like the bait wise. From 13 fishing. 
Well, like I said, these ain't new. They've been out for a while. I just don't, I don't really hear a lot of people fishing with 13 fishing stuff. Every time you turn on the YouTube channel, it's all about Strike King and V-Man and all that, which ain't nothing wrong with that. I like all of them too. But 13 fishing, I think, needs a little bit more credit too. All right, so this is 13 fishing, and this one's called the Jerk. Remember, the other one was called the Joystick. They kind of look similar, but they're not. Uh, this one's five inches long, and this one's called the Glitter Bomb, and this one weighs seven sixteenths of an ounce. This is more of a minnow profile kind of. I don't know how to describe it, but you're about to see. So it's like a fluke style bait. And it's got the little slot for the for the hook, but it also has those little rabbit ear things on the end of it again. Which I would imagine whenever you're jerking it across the water, it's gonna kick. Kick kind of like a frog. So I would imagine that's gonna work real well. But I figure we might rig this up like you would a worm, Texas rig it or something, and see what it looks like on the bottom. But I can already tell you I'm going to use that kind of like a fluke. Alright, so I think that's all my 13 fishing stuff. Next up, we got the Gambler. And this is called the Stinger. And the color is called Friendly Fire. And this is a real neat looking crawbait beaver style. It's ribbed. Ooh, you can smell that scent. And I imagine these little flappers down here are going to create all kinds of action. But I like the fact that it's ribbed and real thin. As long as it's durable, which gambler baits have been known to be been durable, so should work good. And like I said, that color is kind of crazy too. You got to get me a drink, yo. I didn't realize that all this had that much stuff ordered. Mm -hmm. All right, so next up, this is bruiser baits, which we've been getting in the monster bass box. And uh, so I got on there. I like their little crawls they have. And uh, so anyways, I had some different ones on there. So I figured I'd give them a shot since I like their other ones. This one's called the uh, Avenger. And it's in a watermelon red. And this thing looks pretty crazy. It's got them long appendage little legs. Big old flappers on the end of it. A real, real bright watermelon red. The camera probably don't do it justice, but real neat color. <clears throat> All right, so next up we have B and M Wild Thing series, Bassmaster Classic Champion Cliff Pace, and B and M Flat Wild. Uh, the color on this is Himamato. I don't even know how to say that. I'm not even going to try. But this thing looks pretty, pretty neat. And you can see, I guess, yeah, those have been, can be split. So, neat color. That blue and black. <laughs> a lot of stuff in there. So yeah, that's that. 
This is one I've been wanting to try for a while. A lot of y'all probably already tried them before, but I haven't. It's called Riot Bakes. Uh, this is their 4.2 inch fuzzy. It's called Blue Steel. Color that's Blue Steel, which is black on one side and a real bright blue on the other. That is neat. I like that color. And you can see those big old flappers on there. It's a rib bait, which should push a lot of water. So, good deal. And that's baits. Next up is Jethro baits. And this is a Bug Tussle 4.5 Bug Baits. This one's the Black Blue Swirl. I like that all these come in Ziploc bags instead of having to tear them open. This right here is a real neat looking bait. Crazy looking thing too. You can see that it's got these little extra long appendages hanging off the sides. All in all, good looking color. I would imagine this thing's going to create all kinds of action in it too. The appendages are thick. Huh. So yeah. Next up. We got some KVD Perfect Plastics with coffee scent. This is the Ned Ocho, Ned Ocho. And this one is a red bug. Which we got some of these in this month's box too. In the Monster Bass box or last month's box. But anyways, I just wanted to get some different colors little Ned Ocho's. Normally I use Z-Man when it comes to stuff like this, but I did like these, so I got some more. Next is uh, KVD Perfect Plastics. Uh, this is called the Dream Shot in a Triple Magic Color. This is a basically a drop shot bait. Featuring the open pour technology. And this is going to be a drop shot bait. But this color on here is crazy. As you can see, it's kind of like a little minnow with a little flappy tail on the end of it. It's got a lot of salt on it, but flat on the bottom. This thing's going to create a lot of action. I've heard a lot of good things about this bait. So I can't wait to try that out on a drop shot. Shoot, I'll probably even catch something on a Ned rig on that. And then next up we have some Z-Man. The Pro Crawl Z in a color of uh, Dill. These are new to the line. Uh, this is a bigger version of, I don't even know, the, the crawl. I don't remember what it was, but anyways, this is the big profile of it. It said new on the thing. I don't know, maybe they've been out a little while, but I know the other ones were like, oh, the Ned Crawl. Well, this is the full size version. They went through and made a big one of it. So I'm curious to see how this works. Them flappers are real thick. It's made out of a Laztec. Uh, you only get three in a package, which is kind of crazy. Uh, normally you get more than that, but uh, 
I would imagine these are going to last a long time because most Z-Man baits do. So I'm not disappointed. I just figured there probably would have been more than three in there. But I cannot wait to try that out. Real neat little crawl, crawl bait. And like I said, that's the Pro Crawl. And on the Tackle Warehouse website, they said it was brand new. So I don't know. All right, so these I've never seen before. These are the Rage Tail Rage Ned Crawls. This is an Okeechobee Crawl. And these things are little Ned Rigs. And I ain't ever seen them before. I wish somebody would have told me they were out a long time ago because I would have got some. But check these little things up. You can imagine that little thing on a Ned Rig shoe. Y'all like the little, the big crawls of those? Huh. These are called the little, little uh, Rage Ned Crawls. And y'all already know the Rage Crawl puts off a lot of action. So you can imagine that little video, that little video Ned Rig right there. That thing's going to put off some action. Like I said, I don't know if these are new or not. But I ain't ever seen them, so I got to them. Next up, we got some uh, net baits. This is called the Dagger 4.5. And this is a Plum Magic color. And this thing is crazy looking. Almost look like a squid or something. I like the color on it though. It says it's a new color. But y'all can see the, the profile on this. I mean, that thing is weird looking. So we'll be trying that out in the tank definitely. Uh, next up, these are uh, Lunker City. These are called the Ribster in a blue halo. And this is a 4.5 inch. This is their drop shot worm. And this is a rib style worm. It's got that nice color to it. And then at the end, it's got that paddle tail which I figured would create a lot of action in there. I wish they would have put those things in a clam shell because you can tell the worms are kind of bent a little bit. But, uh, ain't nothing a little bit of hot water can't fix. But anyways, we'll be uh, testing that out for sure. And so anyways, that's uh, pretty much all of it, except for some uh, hooks, and I'm sure y'all don't care to see any hooks, but, so, we got a sticker. Uh, so yeah, that's today's uh, unboxing. Uh, let me know what y'all think about everything that was in there. What was y'all's favorite bait? Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, there'll be a, you know, a few more of these coming. So, yeah, I didn't realize there was that many baits in here. Sorry about the long video. Hope y'all enjoyed it anyways. But uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to call it tonight. Y'all have a great day. And thanks.